The average public school building in the U.S. is now nearly half a century old, which means a lot of communities are facing a lot of repairs. Congress passed a trillion-dollar infrastructure package, but as CBS's Mark Strassman shows us in tonight's Eye on America, that hasn't meant instant or even timely relief for schools needing work. So what do we got here? Right here, look at the top. The ceiling tiles right here are falling down. Baker Heights Elementary is falling apart. Here. This okay. is a water fountain that is in use. Timothy Scott's job, save the school day. Somehow patch whatever's broken. Could you just fix this? Well, we, it could be fixed. It could be repaired, but we're pulling funding from the classroom. Outside Baton Rouge, Baker, Louisiana is home to roughly 12,000 people. Money is tight. The population and tax base are shrinking. The infrastructure is crumbling. All five school buildings were built in the 1950s. Typically when you have declining enrollment, it's tough to do anything. Superintendent J.T. Stroder met us at one of Baker's two shuttered schools. Our school infrastructure is reflective of community infrastructure as a whole. Yes, I think they are. You can drive around the community and, and you'll see how those kind of match. The way a student feels about their surroundings and their atmosphere affects how they perform on uh, academically. America's infrastructure grades are in and the grades are bad. Overall, America's infrastructure from roads and bridges to drinking water get a grade of C minus. And the needed investment to bring America's schools up to par, 870 billion dollars. So where are we going? Going down to the Wendy's. Okay, Mayor right. Darnell Waits showed us Baker's challenges. Everything that I do is infrastructure. You know what the problems are, why don't you just fix them? It takes money and there's a lot of other things that's, that's going on at the same time. Um, you want infrastructure but you want to be safe. So 50 percent of my budget is public safety and everything else goes toward infrastructure. Where's that money going to come from? Well you build your revenue but basically, it comes from state government and federal funding. In 2021, Congress allocated more than $1 trillion to rebuild America's infrastructure. Louisiana Republican Senator Bill Cassidy was instrumental in negotiating that deal. If you're talking about communities that are in genuine need of significant infrastructure help, if these communities are complaining that the federal government has not stepped up, how would you respond? During the COVID epidemic, billions were sent to state and local educational authorities. But oftentimes when the federal government puts up dollars, the state and local pull back and the net sum remains constant. To date, the infrastructure law has funded more than 40,000 projects across the country. But in many cases, the money reaches communities like Baker too slowly. In 2016, a flood closed the high school. And ever since, students have had classes in the middle school building. Um, I would say I do feel forgotten about. Kind of ashamed, you know, say what school you go to. I feel mostly left out at the opportunity to be something bigger. The water-damaged high school will reopen this fall eight years later. We don't have that experience, like a, a bigger environment for us to grow in and flourish in, but I'm hopeful for the future. In many American communities, that's something else America has been slow to rebuild. Hope. For Eye on America, Mark Strassman, Baker, Louisiana.